I'm Michelle. Welcome to another session of Bookmarks, where I share books with you that I'm pretty sure you're going to want to check out from the library. Have you ever used crayons to color, hopefully on paper, not on the wall? But this is a book about the man that invented them. We didn't always have crayons. And this is called The Crayon Man, The True Story of the Invention of Crayola Crayons by Natasha Bilbo, illustrated by Stephen Salerno. Now, we take for granted having crayons. I mean, but I always like to have ones with the tips on. I don't like really broken crayons, but it's okay. And it starts out like this. Once there was a man who saw color everywhere. He noticed the yellow-orange petals of the black-eyed Susans in his garden. He marveled at the rich scarlet-red tones of the cardinal's feathers. He admired the deep blue-greens of the waves in the sea. Color made him really, really happy. But all day long at work, all he saw was black. Black dust, black tar, black smoke, black ink, black dye, black shoe polish. His company sold carbon black, a new kind of pigment or colored substance made from the suit of burning oil and natural gas. People use it in printing inks, electric street lamps, and stove and shoe polish. It also made rubber car tires last much longer. His name was Edward Vinney, and he was an inventor. He worked with his cousin, C. Harold Smith, and together they were Vinney and Smith. Harold was a great salesman. He loved to travel the world. Edwin was curious. He had a knack for listening and making what people needed. Edwin invited a new kind of unexpected slate pencil that worked very smoothly. It was gray and children loved it. He invented a kind of chalk that wasn't dusty and didn't crumble. It was white. Teachers loved it. He invented a wax crayon that would write on wood and paper packaging. It was really, really black and people loved it. Paper was expensive in the 1800s, so children wrote with slate pencils or chalk on slates, small handheld blackboards. So when everyone, including Edwin's wife Alice, told him that children needed better, cheaper crayons, he listened. They said, the crayons we have are big, dull, and clumsy. The lumps of colored clay only made fat, chunky lines. And the artisans' crayons from Europe were far too expensive. They crumbled and broke easily. Some were even poisonous. Alice used to be a school teacher, so she knew what children wanted. She encouraged Edwin to invent the crayon. Edwin thought about his company's inventions. When you draw a picture with their gray slate pencil, it rubbed off at the drop of a hat. When you drew a pin picture with their white chalk, it smudged everywhere. If you drew a picture with Edwin's new really black crayon, it was, well, really black. None of these inventions were any good for drawing in color. If you'd like to find out how he invented crayons, you can read the rest of the book, Crayon Man. Now I put my bookmark here because it serves to remind those characters I'm going to be back soon because I want to know how he came up with crayons. And it also just is a nice way to remind myself I didn't finish reading the book yet. I'm so glad you joined me. You brightened my day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.